What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you GLS content today. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right. Well, Chatter Chatter put out a little bit of information. It wasn't it wasn't much. I feel like we're getting dripped just these little teasers of uh, of information on all the stuff that they're working on. Specifically, it looks like the validator nodes are coming next. Although we did hear that from Aggie uh, maybe a week or two ago. So we got a little bit more information in the official Discord. Uh, so I just want to go over that with you and then uh, I also have for reference pulled up what the original kind of plan well I, I guess nothing has really changed from this but the original plan for the Splinterlands SPS nodes uh, went went through so um, we'll, we'll go back to that in a second so it looks as though uh, they're saying that the validator nodes are actively being worked on as of this sprint so we are planning on releasing the GLX node licenses for sale as of mid late March um, so again, again, that's kind of within the time frame we were expecting by the end of Q1 um, to allow time for to unstake GLX for those wishing to participate in the sale. So it takes four weeks to unstake your entire amount, which means if you want to get involved, now is the time to do it. That's the purpose of this video, uh, in addition to obviously going through the information here, because it will take roughly four weeks. We're getting this on February 17th. So if you were to start unstaking today, you would get it by March 17th, which I don't know if that's going to be the exact date. It says mid to late March, but I would say that the 17th, uh, doing it now probably just puts you in a safe spot. Uh, so what they're saying is that the node licenses will be sold in tranche format, similar to Splinterlands. The first tranche, which is deemed the pre-sale, will consist of 1,000 node licenses. The pre-sale will last until 1,000 node licenses are sold, and node licenses node licenses will be sold in GULSD, GLUSD. Sorry, we knew that already with users being able to get a GLGT, uh, use GLGT as a discount, and I believe it's 50% off. Chatter did confirm that in the uh, in the the general the general channel, I think is what it's called. Um, so w all that information, at least for, for GLUSD and GLGT is not new, but the 1000 licenses and the mid March, mid to late March timeframe, I, I guess is kind of, uh, oh, the middle, to late, mid to late March timeframe is, is not necessarily new, but the 1000 licenses is now here's the cool part. Once the presale is over or potentially after a set amount of days, this is still to be decided. The GLX node licenses will be airdropped to SPS node license holders. The structure behind this airdrop is still being refined. So unfortunately, we don't know if it's one to one, two to one, three to one, five to one, whatever it is. But um, the structure is still being designed and they say that they're going to have more details for us soon. Uh, the node license sale will act as a large burn sink for GLUSD and subsequently GLX as it is required to burn GLX in order to obtain GLUSD. Uh, so the exact revenue allocation percentages for this, uh, we've gotten this information before, but 75% 75, 75 of that GLUSD is going to be burned, 15% will go to the Dow, and 10% will go as revenue to the goals company. Uh, and then it says a portion of this will also be used to purchase tokens with a priority on using tokens for liquidity pools. Okay, interesting. So it looks like they're going to take that 10%, probably create some kind of GLUSD uh, liquidity pool, which I, I've been wondering about for a while because, you know, there's no there's no swaps, easy swaps available for GLX, GLGT right now either. And then, of course, GLUSD. So along, well, actually, GLX does have the SPS swap, but I would love to see more pools for it. So, okay, uh, alongside the validator node news, we are also looking to have a town hall scheduled between late next week or sometime early the week after, depending on the when, when the team is free. And then lastly, as promised, we will try to share transparency behind the items we're working on in each sprint. I will have the update out with each of the big items being worked on by early next week. Now, for those who may not uh, remember, they work on, you know, the team is doing this whole agile approach where they, they work in sprints, which are uh, com comprised of two week kind of chunks. Um, so it looks like the nodes are a big part of that right now. I, I'm curious to see what they, you know, when they share their, I, I guess you can call it like a mini roadmap, right? What like this two weeks will be for, what that two weeks will be for, but hopefully we'll get something like that by the end of next week or early next week or, or early the following week. Um, so, you know, that's, that's it for right now. Here, here's what I want to know mainly because, um, for me, I, trying to make a decision, uh, in full transparency for you guys, like I want GLX nodes. Or I would like to have a GLX node. I do have some SPS nodes though. And I want to know if I'll be able to get GLX nodes with the amount that I have. So I think it's really, really important that we get the, um, uh, it's really important, at least for me, that we get 
the airdrop rate before the pre-sale goes live. At least some, that's something that I would like. Obviously, we're still missing pricing information, uh, the exact date, and uh, when you know rewards might go live. But those are the those are all the questions that I think that they're probably going to be answering in the town hall uh, within you know the next week or two here, which actually is great because this town hall, whether it's next week or the week after, is going to be within the um, you know the, the kind of final week of, or final. Sorry, within the month of February is what I'm trying to say. So we'll have like half of March to, you know, uh, maybe 20 days in March, three weeks in March to really get ready for whatever the, um, you know, whatever this this ends up being. But ultimately, I'm excited. Uh, this is, I'll be honest, I, I don't, I'll be very honest. I, it's not that I don't want them to focus on the nodes. Um, to me, when I look at this, I'm just like, does it, is it taking away from the game right now as a gamer, as somebody who wants to see the project succeed and to see, you know, more stuff happening with gameplay, it absolutely is. But from somebody who's following crypto, and this is why I want to talk about it, uh, specifically here, because I know not everybody follows like what's happening with crypto and specifically, specifically crypto regulation. Um, there are some very anti-crypto uh, sentiments being shared now, especially for regulation in the U.S. Um, just people going after Binance USD uh, and a bunch of other things, you know, staking. Like So getting the GLX validator node and probably ultimately the GLX chain up and running is actually really, really important. And so while I want the game and it's hard to make decisions, you know, uh, around everything when you don't have a game in front of you, Getting the validated node licenses, I agree with the team, is probably one of the most priority things. And we, we're seeing that on the Splinterland side as well. And now with GLX, it's it's being put here front and center in the month of March before we even have a beta. So I just wanted to take a moment to talk about that because I'm sure many people are looking at this and there's a lot of sentiment that I heard like, oh, they're going to sell us another thing that we don't even know if the game is good. We don't even know if the game is playable or if I'll enjoy it. How many cards do I need? You know, how like how many BCX, how many packs do I need to buy to max out a set or whatever the case is? I get it. I get it. Um, there's obviously a level of faith that you'll need to have in the team to get this stuff out, hopefully by the end of Q2. It sounds like June 6th, if we look at the, the last uh, note here, well, from earlier, but June 6th was that date that they are, are hoping to have everything out by. But um, you know, ultimately, with, with the craziness that's happening around crypto and crypto regulation here in the U.S. and probably in other parts around the world, uh, but specifically the U.S., obviously, because the team is, is based here, um, I think that this is actually really important. So I'm glad to see that it is moving forward. I hope we can get more information. And I know they're not keeping information from us just to keep it from us, uh, but trying to probably go through this while not, you know, rushing, rushing all the details. So that's, that's all I wanted to say on this. If you were interested in getting one um, or interested in getting some, you should probably start unstaking your GLX now, or if you're planning to buy in at a later point, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. And actually this is, this is a little bit of game theory that's going to be playing out over the next, we'll call it three to four weeks, because you could buy into GLX now and you could burn it and just have your GLUSD ready to go, even though we don't know how much it's actually going to cost. Uh, but you could also just buy GLX and then see if there's a pump. And I'm sure some people will be trying to play that game. I don't know, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. You might have some people who try to play the trade, not necessarily because they want nodes, but because they know other people are going to be coming in and buying GLX at a later point in time. So they might be providing that sell pressure when we start to pump a little bit. And I think GLX is like a little bit over four cents right now as it is. So it's looking like it's in a good spot. Um, all right, last thing uh, before we go, just wanted to share this with you. There are seven tranches for the um, for the SPS validator nodes or Splinterlands validator nodes. So you can see the presale had 2,000 compared to the presale for GLX, which only has 1,000. And then we went to tranche one, which has uh, 3,000 available, tranche two, 5,000 available, and then 10,000 in each of the tranches. And you can see the pricing structure as they go up. So is it safe to say, uh, no, it's, I, I won't say it's safe. Is it safe to maybe guess, right? Uh, a very educated guess that this could be a similar pricing structure, at least for the presale uh, and even onwards. Sure. Right. Maybe it's a thousand GL USD and 500 GL GT. That could very, that could very much be the case. But uh, you know, again, I'm just, I'm just sharing this with you to get an idea of where it could be. But also the other part that we were talking about, if you have an SPS node, what I am thinking about, or at least, you know, considering is 
how far up the quantity do they want to go? Because right now we have roughly 5,000 SPS node licenses sold. And if they go, you know, I would love to see a one-to-one -one because then you get your 1,000 pre-sale and then you'd give uh, roughly 5,000 as a one-to-one. -one. Um, to me, that would be really interesting because then that would still leave, if they do a total of 60,000, that would still leave 90% of the node licenses available. Um, and then you could kind of skip this tranche one and then go directly to like a tranche two, obviously have the numbers play out a little bit nicer. So this would, instead of 2,000 to 3,000, you'd have like 1,000 and 5,000, but tranche one would essentially be whatever we have right now, airdrop one-to-one. -one. Again, I don't know how it's going to play out. That's what I would like to see. Uh, but hopefully we're going to get those questions answered for us within the next week or two here. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you planning to get a node license uh, for GLX? Are you planning to just see if uh, you're going to get lucky in terms of an airdrop? Uh, I'm very curious to know how this will work out for everybody and what their approach is. But for me, like I said, I, I do want to have some. And if there's no guarantee that I'm going to get one from an airdrop, then I'll probably look to get one uh, during the pre-sale. But otherwise... Uh, I may just wait it out and not FOMO in. <laughs> Who knows? All right, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.